Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since the, my last upload. Um, one of my most popular videos so far has been of my friend's uh, Mitsubishi Montero, so I decided to do a video off of my grandfather's uh, Mitsubishi Montero. It's a 1995 Mitsubishi Montero LS. Um, it has about 177 horsepower and about 188 foot-pounds of torque. Um, it also has a towing capacity up to 5,000 pounds as well. And uh, honestly, this car is uh, roughly around 26 years old and it's still kicking. And um, this is why you should buy one. Well, right off the bat, it drives like a tank. Um, kind of reminds me of like an old school G-Wagon, but like a budget one, I guess. Uh, it does have optional four wheel drive and it does come in an optional uh, manual version as well, a five speed manual. Um, this one here is an automatic because it used to actually belong to my aunt who passed away and left it to my grandfather and he's been driving it ever since so just to show you you know how long it's lasted and he has done virtually no maintenance to this car whatsoever um, which you know we're gonna go ahead and fix that um, planning on taking it to the mechanic shop here in Southern California and uh, just trying to see what the car needs in order for it to you know continue living uh, there's a lot of cosmetic damage and like a lot of bad wear and tear here um, as you can see this is the interior here the seat is basically collapsed right here on the left hand side um, my grandpa uses it to sleep because you know he's an old man he likes to take naps the steering wheel is absolutely disgusting it looks like it was in a fire here um, one thing that does work that does surprise me is actually the uh, gear selector there um, these are very notorious for having issues with uh, like a ball joint that I guess the shifter has so um, luckily we don't have any issue any issues there but um, you take a look at the uh, AC unit and the uh, radio unit you know multiple buttons are missing there um, it's pretty beat up uh, like I said the AC doesn't really work the interior is absolutely filthy absolutely filthy uh if you look down here there's just you know flowers and, and uh, cigarette ashes all over the place my grandpa is a smoker so it it's pretty common i'm sure there's dirtier cars on the internet but um don't let that fool you this is a great vehicle it's a three row vehicle so we can seat up to seven um it's kind of cool the back seats fold up upwards i guess kind of like um like a land rover uh like the defenders and stuff like that um, it's also a very comfortable car, very slow, it virtually has no power, it's basically a for the four-wheel drive system, um, which is very good. I've seen videos of it, uh, or, you know, similar cars like this go off-road and, uh, not have to really worry about, you know, getting stuck in mud or sand or anything like that. They're pretty much, you know, well-proven champions. Um, it's horrible on gas. It gets about 50 miles per gallon in the city and about 18 in the highway. And um, you can definitely feel it. It's just a very heavy vehicle. Um, it's not sporty whatsoever. Um, you do have a, a locking diff as well. It's an option that uh, these vehicles had. Um, unfortunately, this one I believe is broken or not working because um, I tried flicking the switch and uh, nothing happens. It doesn't seem to work. So we'll see if we can try to get that fixed. Now, one thing I'm noticing while I'm driving this car is that there's a lot of loose uh, steering feel. There's virtually no steering feel. I, I'm pretty sure this car needs an alignment as well because as I'm driving, it's just like, I feel like I'm driving a boat. It, it, it just, there's no sense of steering feel whatsoever. The brakes feel very, very sketchy. Um, there's weird smells coming from the engine bay, flooding the, the vehicle. The AC doesn't work. Um, the radio doesn't work. Um, one of the windows doesn't work either. And uh, there seems to be a lot of surface rust on the car as well. So hopefully it's all something that we can, uh, you know, put a little bit of attention to, a little bit of interest, and uh, hopefully the problem will fix itself. The only light on the dashboard is for the airbags. So I don't know if we have a faulty airbag that needs to be replaced, or maybe it's just a sensor. But as I see it right now, um, Looks like our airbags might be uh, needing to be replaced, so we'll see. Not bad for a 26-year-old uh, car, though. That's going to be the only uh, issue that you know it has. You know, with virtually no maintenance other than uh, an oil change every now and then, and uh, maybe a new battery whenever the battery dies, which is basic, basic maintenance. You know, stuff that should be done regardless. You know, so. I'm 
make another video once we take it to the mechanic and we get uh, the repair bill and then I'll probably do another video once it's all fully repaired and uh, restored the way it's supposed to be. Um, another reason I really like these cars is because, you know, they're old and you can beat them up. You know, they're a nice one you can get for about $4,000, um, which even then I'm sure you can even try talking down. One thing I am noticing while I'm driving this car is the steering wheel is um, bouncing all over the place and the transmission seems to be kicking as well, which, ugh, not good, not good. And um, I am smelling uh, smoke coming from the engine, so I'm actually going to pull over here and see what's going on. Um, kind of dangerous considering my grandfather still drives this every single day and uh, I don't know, we gotta get that fixed soon because this is not good. Um, do see a little bit of smoke. Hopefully, uh, I'm just gonna let these cars pass real quick. And ooh, there's definitely some vibrations and smells that are not good. Don't let this discourage you from buying one of these though. It's, uh, it's still a great vehicle, it's just we haven't really given the love and attention that this one has deserved. Um, which is why we're looking to go ahead and fix it up and try to fix everything that's wrong with it. Which I'm sure there's going to be a long laundry list and a very big mechanics bill, but you know what? Um, it'll be worth it it's for my grandfather, you know? Um, he's never really had a, like a new car or anything like that, and this has just been his daily driver for over 20 years. And, um, there's a lot of memories with this car as well, so you know, I just remember being in it as a kid and having it go everywhere, and it it's actually has uh, relatively low mileage. Um, it has about 137,000 miles which normally cars of this age you'd see with, you know, almost a quarter million, if not over 300,000 miles as well. Uh, this one's not modified whatsoever. Uh, I do wish to modify it in the future if the mechanics say that the car is worth saving and as long as it doesn't cost a small fortune to fix up, um, we will definitely be modifying the vehicle and uh, possibly even taking it up to the mountains on like a snow trip to, you know, test the four by four capabilities of the car. Well, that's my review of the Mitsubishi Montero. Uh, it's a 1995 LS model. So if you guys like it, please let me know. Uh, keep commenting. Um, the last video got, you know, pretty good traffic and a pretty good uh, comment section. And uh, I'm just really grateful for everyone uh, who takes the time to view my videos. Um, if there's anything that you guys would suggest me doing or um, anything else that you guys want to know about the car, please let me know in the comments below and I'd be more than happy to make another video. This is kind of just a short um, introduction to this car. Thank you guys for watching and uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you. See you guys soon.